Oh my God, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was the first time in my life that I had seen such a gluttonous frog. That frog was more than just a glutton. It was a relentless devouring machine. Everything that appeared in front of him quickly disappeared into his wide mouth. At first, I thought he only ate common things like insects, leaves, or some small worms. But no, he had no concept of only eating what frogs should eat. It seemed that for him, if something moved, it would be his next meal. I was shocked to see him swallow a scorpion. It wasn't a harmless little scorpion, but a scorpion the size of a hand with a sharp, venomous tail. I thought he would be hesitant, would try to dodge, but no, he jumped forward, biting the scorpion before it could react. I thought he would at least get stung once before finishing off his prey, but strangely enough, Nothing happened, just a popping sound, and the scorpion had completely disappeared from his stomach. I started to get worried. How could a normal frog eat something like that? But it didn't end there. Before I could recover, he jumped into the water and came face to face with a large crab. Its pincers were sharp and brandished menacingly. A normal frog would definitely stay away from someone with such a fearsome weapon, but not this frog.
He calmly jumped forward, avoiding the pinching, then suddenly grabbed the crab. I gasped. Eating scorpions was already too weird. Now a crab? I thought he would spit it out because the crab's shell was too hard. But no, a series of cracking sounds rang out, and in just a few seconds, the crab had completely disappeared. At this moment, I no longer considered him an ordinary frog. This was a monster. He calmly jumped forward, avoiding the pinching, then suddenly grabbed the crab. I gasped. Eating scorpions was already too weird. Now a crab? I thought he would spit it out because the crab's shell was too hard. But no, a series of cracking sounds rang out, and in just a few seconds, the crab had completely disappeared. At this moment, I no longer considered him an ordinary frog. This was a monster. I watched in horror as the scene unfolded before me. The snake writhed and struggled violently, but could not escape the terrible mouth. Gradually, parts of it disappeared into the frog's stomach. After a while, all that remained was the gently rippling surface of the water, as if nothing had ever happened. But the story did not end there.
thought he would give up this time. But no, he lunged forward with incredible speed, grabbing the baby crocodile before it could bite back. I thought the frog would definitely suffer this time, but surprisingly, it did not flinch. He just kept swallowing, ignoring the crocodile's struggles. I gaped as I watched the crocodile's body disappear piece by piece. When it was done, the frog even patted its belly in satisfaction. At this point, I was really scared. Could he possibly swallow something bigger? Could he possibly swallow the entire forest? And then the unexpected happened. After finishing the crocodile, he stopped, his body suddenly shaking violently. At first, I thought it was excitement, but no, something was wrong. His stomach started to swell abnormally. He tried to jump, but it seemed too heavy. His eyes widened and then 